Hello, this is Solar PPTV from Dubai from Universal American School. And today it's an unusual reportage. We speak uh, with students and also with Adam Hall, the founder of Million Solar Stars. So keep watching. Oh, hello, guys. Yes, so, what are you doing actually? So, we're making a replica of a Kenyan house, a mud house. We want to like show that we're spreading Kenya's like lights to the world so we're gonna put a light in the middle on the ceiling so we can see the difference on the one with light and one without light so this is just our first one we're ma making also a second one why you are doing this because um, we want to spread solar power throughout the world B many people in Kenya do not have electricity and solar power is very easy and it's renewable, so they can constantly get electricity so that they can study at home or so that they have light so that they can do their work. I think we're very blessed that we're living in a country that has electricity. People are very unfortunate that they don't have certain uh, aspects of our daily life that they really need. And we're trying to provide it to them, at least do our bit for society and make sure that everybody has clean, sustainable, renewable energy that is low, low cost, more efficient and simple to use. I heard that uh, you are going actually to Kenya, yes, to visit uh, the children. Are you excited yeah, that uh, your work uh, can bring the light and uh, improve the life of people there? I'm really excited because at the beginning I didn't really know about this when I just signed up for Kenya. I just wanted to go there for community services. But now since that I know that this light can actually like motivate kids to learn, study, and that, that just like really surprises me and I'm really happy about it. You are also involved in some other products, yes? Yeah. I'm making a poster for Hard Rock Cafe. Um, we're getting different vans from the school and uh, there's going to be a collaboration between all of them uh, just to uh, raise awareness for the million solar stars in Hard Rock Cafe. So, Kumu, the students are working on the project and you are one of the people who is trying to bring your experience and to help them to develop the project in reality, yes? Yep. So could you share with us uh, a bit uh, your experience? So we, in the past, I worked in Hawaii and we developed this exact program to bring solar to some schools that didn't have electricity. And uh, we provided education for homeless children and local children that didn't have electricity in our schools. We developed a solar program and did exactly this, but we based it off of the Common Core curriculum with math and science standards as a basis that gave us an educational foundation so that not only were the kids doing something socially they were also developing themselves educationally and as educators that's why mr hall and i we, we wanted to make sure that the program was not only giving to children and improving literacy but we were also developing our own students in an educational platform and you are bringing the skills of your actual students yes yes we want we, our actual kids to learn something they can take away from this when they get finished here they'll understand how a solar program works how data collection works how analysis works mm -hmm. how to write and formulate a, a grant program so that they can carry this to whatever country we go to. We, we have multiple countries involved already, and I've already had this project done in, in two countries, so we're, we're trying to develop it now to Kenya, then Uganda, then Laos, and, and Shanghai. So we're going all over the place, as well as working with American Indian schools in North America. So we, we're trying to take these kids into global learners and really change the face of the world. Yes, and uh, also bringing the possible great job for them. Eh? Oh, absolutely. They get, I mean, they're doing curriculum and reshaping the world. When, when I was a lad, we did math homework. Mm -hmm. We didn't do things that made other people's lives better. These guys have an amazing opportunity, and luckily I'm, you know, I have a partner teacher here that, that also we share the same global vision. We're making education happen in a way that shakes the pillars of the universe. No one, when we were young, we did We are blessed, yeah? <laughs> yeah, here we're blessed. As teachers, we're blessed because we grew up and said, man, we should do this. Now we are adults that have a chance to share a dream with these kids they will become adults that will share that dream with other kids, and that's how we change the world. Adam, are you excited actually about this project and uh, students working with you? Absolutely. I uh, am very excited about students being engaged with community service and helping bring solar lights to Kenyan students to help them read it at night uh, and to help them uh, in their education to hopefully advance them uh, with economic opportunities and uh, in order to advance their um, lifestyles. Well, we met by accident in Shanghai, yes? And uh, I believe personally in destiny. And do you think that it was a destiny that we met there and uh, we realized this product together? Yeah, I believe in destiny as well. I, I think that uh, the stars aligned in Shanghai and they continue to. Um, 
partly because of our common networks and also because we're working towards clean energy innovation uh, in schools and in industry. Mm -hmm. So absolutely, the solar industry is still small, but as you know, it's growing and the jobs uh, creation has been phenomenal. In the US, I think there are over 200,000 uh, jobs, for instance. And so what we'd like to take to Kenya is solar lights for education mm -hmm. and also um, solar array for the school itself. Mm -hmm. um, and to create jobs and to start training people, uh, students, and uh, as they grow up to be able to work in the solar industry. Thank you, Adam. That was Solar PBTV together with Adam Hall, the initiator of uh, Million Solar Stars. Before we spoke with students who started the first project for Kenya, but uh, hopefully this project will be also spread around the globe. Thanks for watching. The first contact with your organization I had through Adam Hall, who is managing the program Million Solar Stars. And I know that your organization is also involved in clean energies. So what would be your message to the green, clean and solar energy communities? My message would be that this is desperately important because it's our reliance on fossil fuels, gas and oil that is destroying so much of the world, is causing so much pollution, is adding to the greenhouse gases hugely and we get climate change. So clean, green energy is the only way forward if we want to mitigate climate change. I think that so many people do nothing because they think about everything that's wrong in the world and feel, well, I'm just me, there's nothing I can do. But actually, if people start thinking about the consequences of the small choices that they make, what they buy, what they eat, what they wear, where does it come from, did it involve cruelty or, or destruction of the environment, and start making ethical choices, then millions and eventually billions of small ethical choices starts to move towards the kind of world we want. And I find that when people begin making small changes, they gradually get bigger because they get this feeling, I am doing something.